This is the very first boxing class for 28-year-old Brooklyn resident Alex Romero, and her reasons for taking classes were personal. I've come to a point in my life that I want to see other things I have within myself that I don't know about or I'm hesitant about. I wanted to challenge myself. One, one. Alex chose to challenge herself at Women's World of Boxing in East Harlem, a charming yet formidable gym founded in 2018 by Reese Scott. It was a dream come true. It was a moment that I, I felt so much relief because uh, opening this place was something that they said I couldn't do. But this dream for a coach Reese, as she's called, started with a journey of self-discovery that began 18 years ago while battling depression and obesity. I was in a very unhealthy place, uh, working the corporate grind, and I lost track of myself. I lost track of uh, my feelings, my goals, my ambition, and my desire to, to feel present. Let's go, shovel it. So she turned to boxing, hoping to find a sense of self. My connection that I found with boxing was in the footwork. It was in the movement. It was in what I saw to be a release. Let's warm it up, let's warm it up. What she also found in the male-dominated gyms and boxing classes was an unwelcome reception. And a day did not go past where I did not hear it's a man's world. <laughs> you don't belong here. Women don't belong in the gyms with us. This is not your place. This is a man's world. Words she took to heart, especially when naming her own gym. And I said, I can't be the only woman that wants this. So I'm gonna take a chance on us. And the guys would tell me, women don't wanna to go to all women's boxing gym. They wanna see the men. They wanna be there. You know what? We love you guys, but we don't wanna see you all the time. <laughs> we wanna have places where we can go and just not be so guarded. But sadly, many of her clients bring with them feelings of being guarded. As crime is on the rise in New York City, women have become unwarranted targets while waiting for the subway while behind the counter at work, while simply just walking down the street. You want to know how close someone is standing next to you. You want to be aware if they've taken two steps and now all of a sudden they're right next to you. We need to be aware of these things when we're waiting for the subways on the platforms, when we're waiting for the buses. We have to spend more time keeping our eyes up and our chins tucked. Principles she incorporates into her training classes, knowing that the impact will go beyond the ring. That is where we start at Women's Roller Boxing in that beginner's class. And that's why some people say, oh, what do you mean I don't need any equipment? No, you are the equipment, okay? Because you're coming in here, you're a fight house. Nobody builds a house from the attic down. We build houses from the basement up. You're not in anyone's way. They're in your way. So for us as women, there's a lot of reframing that we have to do because we've been taught we don't need that much space. Ready, set, go. Go, 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 go. From East Harlem, Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.